Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. Do you guys want to take bets on what's the other side of the door? Death. I'm the just... end of the game. Boats. <laughs> Death. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Mayhem. I'm Jinzu. I do. And today we're back with another episode of 999, where we got the Jupiter key last time. We had a ship of Theseus with two um two mannequins, and we're lefty Lucy now. So <laughs> righty tighty. Yeah. So now we're gonna do it. Start us off, Jinzu. All right. I'm gonna open it now. Is that cool? It's ice cold. Is that cool? You don't need that. Keep asking. <laughs> Just do it, all right? Stop narrating everything. <laughs> Fine, then. He slid the key into the keyhole and turned it. it he felt it unlock. <laughs> <laughs> Them some high graphics. The door opened with a soft and melancholy creak. As in the guy who made it was high. Behold, it lay a simple white hallway. There was no fanfare or confetti. Obviously, there was no one there to applaud them. They simply walked through the door... That was it. Why is this happening right now? We're how many episodes in? <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's get going. <laughs> hey, man, what's up with you? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're, on sh uh, you're so serious, you know? That's not what I was saying. Can't you sound more happy? Oh, my God. You know, get a little excited. <laughs> you're a dick. <laughs> yeah, we literally called him that. I love how we just dropped that on him, too. Like, ruthlessly. Not really. Jinzo, you gotta put down the Pokemon team I'm builder. I'm planning my fucking team for a game I'm not gonna play. <laughs> Junpei turned away from Seven and took his first step down the simple white hallway. My brother might be dead. I'm going to be next. I Clover love her voice as a narrator voice. I'm going to be dead. <laughs> Clover had told him only a few minutes before that her brother probably was probably dead and that she was likely to follow him. How could he pretend to be happy after hearing something like that? Found you found it every time you found, you found it. You found the exit. <laughs> what you didn't find was the will to live. They left the operating room, the place where everyone dies. The hallway took them around several corners and past several doors, but they were all locked. Until at last, the final door was hidden in the corner of the hall. Da da. Junpei grabbed the handle. And he made it push, and as he made to push it open, a voice stopped him. The voice came from behind him and belonged to neither Seven nor Clover. Oh. Uh. Jumpy! He spun around. He saw someone running towards him from the other side of the hall, the other end of the hallway. Well, now you gotta bring back the Scott voice. Yeah. There were three people coming towards Junpei and his companions. Santa, Lotus, and June! Yay! Everybody back. They pulled up short in front of Junpei, breathing hard. Hard. Whoa! Whoa! What the hell is this? Ha! What are you doing here? By the way, don't worry. You can keep Junpei, considering one of your characters may just be dead. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You lost. You lost Snake. What? But we didn't. We before didn't, we didn't shit. But before you could finish, Clover spoke. Hey guys, could you come take a look at this? I'm gonna make her a little bit more squeaky. She was standing near no, the she's end. A of mouse. Yeah. She was standing near the end of the small hallway that branched off to the right. I just give her Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> hey, Clover, look at this. Pulls out a little piece of cheese. Ah. The rest of the team ran over to her, curious as to what she's found. There was something on the wall at the end of the hallway. I'd, I would love if... <laughs> something at the end of the hallway. It was Snake! <laughs> hey, if only. A map of the ship's interior. It said sea dick. <laughs> uh, 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 it said sea dick here. On the upper left corner. It was, they assumed, a map to the floor they were on. Bah. Door 7 and... Door 8. The map confirmed they already knew. Both doors eventually led to the hallways where they had found themselves. Wow, look at the boring room that they had to go through. It didn't have a curve! <laughs> it was an operating room. That, that's kind of stupid to see that door 3 would have basically led to the same place door 7 led. Yeah! That's kind of stupid. Ah. <laughs> In fact. Yeah, isn't that what I said? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door nine. Nine? 
we might get separated for a little while. We'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. That's how the nonary game works. Huh. Junpei looked at the map of the ship's interior again. As he looked more closely, his surprise and excitement gave way to weariness. One by one, the others saw what he'd seen. They moved on as one for the door. He pulled the map of the ship's interior off the wall and put it in his pocket and followed the others. Oh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure for door set. Yeah, door three goes to the um, the operating room. Like, just straight to the operating room. Yeah. The six of them stood in front of the door, arranged, arrayed in a semicircle. Santa stepped forward. He took a hold of the door and spoke without looking back at the other five. Already? I'm gonna open it. Slowly, I'm all five... shit my pants. <laughs> I just shit out my ass. All oh, five ass. Not, yeah. All five nodded in a silent ascent. With deep breath, Santa threw open the door. <laughs> Why'd they do that? Loading animation! <laughs> fucking VHS tape looking ass. They poured through the doorway and into the room. Even without looking around, each one of them knew where they were. They were just where the map had said they would be. The same room they had been not so very long ago. Yep! The tremendous central hospital room with empty beds from wall to wall. Dot 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 dot. And Ace is dead. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. The six of you split into two teams and went through the doors seven and eight. You saw the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory and then met in one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. Yes. He looked like anyone might after only just waking up, but it seemed that his brain was working as well as ever. He had managed to grasp, summarize, and understand each of the team's reports. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. I'm sure you'll be back for me. I did hope you would come back, but I confess I didn't think you would be back so soon. He shook his head with a rueful smile. Well, we saw each other again, and we, uh, and we ain't dead. Dead, so I'm say that's good enough. We ain't lead. <laughs> we ain't lead. Seven smiled. Anyway, I say we gotta get out. Uh, we... Or we get out of this creepy old player. I, 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 I say I'm going to my own dick. <laughs> we found the key we need. Let me at him! At the door! Hello, Lotus. The key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. Oh, hell yeah. We found it in the operating room. Right, Junpei? Yeah. Junpei nodded. <laughs> yes. As a wow, metal the solar system keys. Actually, we found one in the laboratory, too. Ah! Crosshair. <laughs> or the... <laughs> Here, the Earth key. Earth. Fire. Water. Jupiter. Wait, what? <laughs> Lotus dug out a still warm key. Was still warm key. Dug it out from where? <laughs> yeah. With an Earth symbol on it. I might lose it. It's probably better if you hold on to it. No, put it back. <laughs> That way, it won't be my fault. Aww. If it gets lost. And with that, she pressed it into Junpei's hand. He felt it slightly less than honored. Felt slightly less than honored. As a group, they now had three keys that had not been used. Four. The Jupiter, Jupiter. key, which had been found in the operating room. The Saturn key card, which had been found in the kitchen. The Earth key, which Lotus had just handed to Junpei. Junpei tucked the new keys into his pocket. June spoke up. The Jupiter key is supposed to be towards the end of the straight hallway, right? <laughs> yeah. Did you get any of that, Jitsu? <laughs> Did you get any of that? <laughs> straight slurry into... Yeah. <laughs> if a map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. There. Ah. Then, next to the stairs... I love it. I love it. They show the blue arrow showing where it goes, and then the text box covers it. <laughs> Wait! They were the first words anyone had heard out of Clover in quite some time. Point! Her face suggested that they weren't going to be very happy words. What about door three? Look. Look. <laughs> you see the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. It just leads us back to the big hospital room. No point in seeing what's on the other side of that door. 
There is a point. At least there is for me. There were tears in her eyes, but as she glared at Seven as hard as she could, just the same. She looked very much like a frightened puppy. I wonder what she's thinking. There wasn't a man alive who could have resisted those eyes. Seven looked everywhere around the room except at Clover and muttered and coughed apologies under his breath. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why is he doing the Michael Schmitt? Jackson? So, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> You've been hit by... You've been struck by a smooth criminal. Straight trauma. A truck. Snake might be on the other side of the door three. Clover nodded once. The next person to speak was Ace. Hey, well, I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. Show seven. Don't let me, won't you? Huh? Me? Junpei did the calculations quickly in his head. Yeah, so... 4 plus 1 plus 7 equals 12. Okay. It was 1 plus 2 equals 3. It looked like 7 was doing them too. Okay. At last he uh, gave up. <laughs> at last he... I, I, my brain was just like, 7 was doing what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> adding up. <laughs> at last he gave up. Who was 7 doing? Oh. Damn. Well, I guess that's how it's gotta be. So, I'm going with you, huh? Yes, you are. Alright, let's get moving. And so it was decided that Clover, Ace, and Seven would discover what lay beyond door three. Babe, babe, babe. Okay, we're heading out. I feel so sorry for Clover. She's stuck with Seven. <laughs> yes. <laughs> be careful. Whoa, I didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can can't open the nine door. <laughs> ah. The truth comes out. The truth comes out. The truth shall set you free. Seven nodded as if his answer made much more sense and pulled the leather <laughs> lever on the rip. It was that the, the the thing keeps happening at the bottom. It's a VHS tape. It's fucked up. Ah. Okay. Let's go. The door opened and Ace and Ace Clover and Seven jumped through it. And they all died. Six, seven, eight. Nine. Dead. After exactly nine seconds, the door closed noisily. All right, we should get moving too. What? Huh? Huh? Get moving. Where are we going? Everyone except Lotus seemed rather confused. Well, it should be a wa it would be a waste of time just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. <laughs> wow, that made total sense. I get it. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Yeah. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. But they're looking for Snake. At the end of the hallway, lined by individual hospital rooms, the Jupiter symbol was engraved on the keyhole. All right, Junpei, open it if you please. Yeah, on it. Yeah. <laughs> Junpei pulled the Jupiter key out of his pocket and slid it into the keyhole. He twisted. With a Twist nice... it. <laughs> Turn it. Do Spin it. Spin it. Do it. Slap it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Yell it. Fuck. <laughs> Do it. With a nice sharp click, <laughs> he felt the door unlock. Smack it. Smack right. it. Ready, guys? You ready? Smack it. Yes, daddy. What, what? What? Whoa. <laughs> That's Whoa. enough out of you. Junpei's companions nodded. <laughs> he nodded back, then slowly and quietly opened the door. Everyone was nodding, like birds. <laughs> and, uh, whoa, that's a cool effect. In the middle. You can't see yeah. it, anybody. <laughs> Inside was exactly what he expected to see. The map of the ship's interior. They were in a tremendous hall, almost like a ballroom, with a massive central staircase. Ballroom blitz. Great. Back to the to beginning. Put down for a minute, man. <laughs> you sure this is a good idea? You voiced two of the four characters. He's yeah, almost got. Mean? He's almost got one of the last team members. <laughs> <laughs> well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Of course, there's a reason. No idea. Of course, there's a reason. Of course, there's a reason. Yeah. Of course, there's a reason. <laughs> oh shit! Wrong character. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. How's it feel, huh? Jitsu, talking to yourself? 
I have schizophrenia. <laughs> this, this. So I'm used to it. <laughs> Junpei pulled two things out of his pockets. So I'm used to it. <laughs> the Saturn key card <laughs> and the Earth key. Santa cocked his head to one side like an inquisitive bird and, and looked at them. After several long moments, which turned and became apparent that Santa had no idea what the cards meant, June took pity, pity on him. Don't you remember, Santa? On the sea deck, where we are now, there was an elevator, big elevator behind the stairs, remember? No. And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. And on the A deck, on the door on the left, there was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it, I think. There it is. <laughs> so the two keys that Jopi has... Should let us use the elevator and the door on A deck. Huh. Huh. <laughs> well, would you look at that? Yes. I put those there specific... I mean, I... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. June smiled pleased with herself. So did Santa. All right. I got it. Let's get started then. Let's get it started in here. What do you say we split into two teams? Oh, hell yeah. Lotus and I will search the Earth one so you two can search Saturn, all right? Okay. Sounds good. Oh, wait. That, that's Junpei. Yeah. Sounds good. How is he not strangled himself with that? <laughs> Jun Junpei handed the Earth key to Santa. They decided that their initial search should be brief. Only ten minutes. They'd meet back at this near the staircase once they were done. Junpei and June headed for the elevators. Sure enough, there was a card reader bolted to the wall next to the left elevator. He lined up the Saturn key card and swiped it through the reader. Denied. Declined. No funds left. <laughs> <laughs> a light on the upper left corner blinked to life. Corner. Great. Looks like it's working now. Oh, sick. I don't have to voice anyone now. All right. How do I, <laughs> how do I call you up here? Oh, yeah, because it's literally just June and Junpei. <laughs> the yeah. only way that I'd be able to voice is if you gave me the narrator. And no, I know you won't. Fuck <laughs> 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 You'll never take my lines! <laughs> there was a single button to the right of the elevator door. On the button was the upside-down triangle, the universal symbol for down. <laughs> I've, I'm pretty sure you're also okay with it, Duke, mainly because who's the next person you're going to have to be voicing again as soon as we meet and with up with everybody again? Lotus. <laughs> and maybe Snake comes back. Ah, there didn't appear to be an up button. Junpei pushed it. He didn't have much of a choice. What? The, what? <laughs> I love these visual novels. They're so stupid. <laughs> That's an elevator. That they are. It opened. Look, Jumpy. June's voice was excited, but Junpei could hear a tinge of anxiety. Sweet. It opened. <laughs> Let's get going. I like how all you'd have to do is listen for the silence. <laughs> <laughs> he grinned at June and stepped forward toward the open door. As he was about to set foot in it, he felt a hand on his arm. Wait. Huh? What? Uh, what? Uh, I'm not really. I just. <laughs> Jude Bay was some. I'm not really. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just throws up. Just like, yeah. Junpei was at something of a loss. What could she possibly be so frightened of? Jude was probably afraid of being locked up alone with a boy. They could only go down. The boy. Is it the boy thing? Do you want the boy? Uh. Make it about us. We're I... more important. I like how you said that as when, if it was going to help your case. When did she, when did she react? She was like, we were about to get on the elevator. She was like, wait, 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 wait. why is she freaking out? Uh, does she not want to be in the elevator with a boy? Or is it that they we'll be trapped there down with her forever? They could only go down. Yeah. Being locked up alone with a boy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the funny one. Yeah. Shit! You salvaged your choice. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> After a little thought, Jun Junpei decided she had been nervous about being locked up in such a small space alone with a boy. Now imagine Junpei with like the Chad face of because of me. <laughs> In a way, it was kind of cute. Very demure, you can say, he thought. What the fuck does that mean? Ask the infinite device. Ask it. Ask. <laughs> Still, even though he wasn't exactly roomy in the... It wasn't ex exactly roomy in the elevator, they weren't going to be pressed up against one another. Reserved, modest, and shy. <laughs> <laughs> 
At least they didn't have to be. <laughs> Still, it was making her nervous. Jubei couldn't help but think how innocent she was. Oh. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Again, he stepped toward the elevator. And again, he felt himself restrained. I said, wait a minute. Why? Aren't you afraid, Zombie? Afraid of what? Well, I've never, you know. She'd never been in an elevator with a man alone before? Even so, she still seemed awfully alarmed. Am I? Are you where? Uh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I, well, I mean, of course you would. That's that's the way it works. I mean, I've never heard of anyone getting soaking wet somewhere else. Well, yeah, it's true. Don't mind. Mind what? Getting wet. Well, I, I don't know. I probably, I, I think probably you'd, you know, like it. Yes, I'm you so brave. Really? Oh my god, this double entendre. Whoa. I mean, I kind of think any guy would be into the same thing, you know? What happens, happens, right? If you get the chance, you just gotta go for it. That's what a man's supposed to do, I guess. Ah, you're so cool, Jumpy. <laughs> I really admire you. Oh. Guys, you wouldn't believe it? That we unlocked the sex ending. Doesn't really seem like the sort of thing <laughs> you ought to admire someone for. I'm really scared. Yeah. I mean, like you said, you've never done it before. Yes. I don't think I'll be able to last very long. And then it'll be over. Over. <laughs> yes. Dude, calm down. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I'll go to heaven. <laughs> heaven? <laughs> it feels kind of like when you're floating in space and your mind gets all fuzzy, like you pass out. At least that's what I've heard from people who have experienced it. Yeah, I've heard that too. <laughs> Although I don't think the same thing happens to guys. <laughs> this episode name has to be the double entendre. <laughs> what? Huh? But it would happen to men too, wouldn't it? It would happen to anyone. Once it gets inside your body, the same thing happens to everyone. Well, I mean, usually it doesn't go <laughs> inside the man. I mean, generally, not to be assuming not to hate gay people. Yes, it does. <laughs> well, eventually it will. It's not like you really have a choice. Your body will force you to swallow some of it eventually. What are you trying to do to me? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm just saying that that's what happens. It's a psychological reaction when you're experiencing. What, what, was that really how it happened? If it, it occurred to you, pay that perhaps it was how it worked. <laughs> perhaps he's been mistaken all these years. Had he misunderstood life so gravely? The thought terrified him. June seemed to be entirely oblivious to Junpei's mounting confusion and, confusion and terror. I know most men probably have larger lungs, but... <laughs> Even then, I don't think you can hold your breath for like 20 or even 10 minutes. Eventually, you have to breathe, and the water would get up into your lungs. Once that happens, your body won't be able to get oxygen anymore. And you'll start to feel that floaty feeling as you pass out. She was oh. talking about drowning! Oh. <laughs> 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 Finally, Junpei understood. He understood what Jun was trying to say and why she was so scared. Yeah, you're right. You wouldn't last very long. See? She was afraid that the only elevator bu button pointed down. The other option! <laughs> that meant, of course, that the elevator wouldn't go any higher than the floor they were on. And with that choice, we delayed it by like 20 hours and we're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, but hey, are you guys happy now that I uh, that we went with that one? <laughs> <laughs> the double entendre, yes. <laughs> Junpei realized that he hadn't seen elevators on the A or B decks near the central staircase. All of which... Sorry, I have to mention, I think the thumbnail is going to end up being June, like, pointing up like this, and, um, like, pointing at, like, a thought bubble, and it's going to be a crude drawing of a bird, but obviously shaped like something. No! It's just a bird, dude. You can't make it look like it. <laughs> All, right. All of which meant that the elevator could only convey to them to your decks. Make it booby! <laughs> Just an image of a booby, perfect. Yeah. A I'll, blue, make sure, I'll make sure it's pixelated. The blue-footed blue booby. booby. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
and the floor be below the one that we're on, D deck, should be completely submerged. Junpei was thinking Jude wanted to go to D deck. <laughs> <laughs> But obviously she see dick. <laughs> that meant. Wait, wait a minute. You don't want to have sex with me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After all that. What the that... fuck are you talking about, man? This elevator came out from somewhere under us. I right? don't like you anymore. I'm gonna go talk to Santa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's got a way bigger bank account. <laughs> With his stock portfolio. Stock portfolio. <laughs> yes, I guess it did. It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise and then he was moving and it didn't open. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Take a, go take a look inside. Junpei go. jerked his head towards the interior of the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. Oh, you're right there. She looks around the elevator and slightly embarrassed. Well, let's test it. Test it? Yeah, watch this. Junpei put one foot on the elevator and bent around the corner of the door until he could see the floor buttons. Yes, that is the song that I used to learn how to walk, Duke. There were only two, E and C. He pushed the E button and jumped out of the elevator. The door slid shut and they heard the grinding of the motor as the elevator car moved down. Bye. <laughs> Don't talk to that ho <laughs> A few moments later, they heard the sound of the elevator door grinding open several floors below. Jupe nodded to June and pressed the elevator button again. A few moments later, the elevator returned. Oh boy, it's the same animation again. <laughs> and it's dry. Turns out there's like zeros on there, on the elevator. It's just like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the door slid open and just as your as expected, there was no water to be found. See? I like how it's always been one word. <laughs> things. The most ginger thing possible, yes. Yeah, Junpei couldn't resist puffing out his chest just a little bit. June, however, still looked confused. What does that mean? How can the E deck be safe if the D deck is full of water? Well, here's what I think: the elevator shaft and E deck must be watertight and separated from wherever the ship's been punctured. Here, let me show you. Look at this. He pulled out his penis notebook and pen and sketched out a rough illustration. He was not very good with his third leg in drawing. <laughs> Look, I can do this. The C deck, E deck. <laughs> I see. see. So this is why the ship hasn't sunk. The shape of the inside keeps it off from filling with water? Yeah, I think that's all good, what's going on. Junpei continued, yeah, talking as he man. <laughs> <laughs> Junpei continued talking as he closed the notebook and slipped it back into his pocket. So, I'm gonna go down and check it out. Oh, you stay here, right? We're oh. down where? Uh, but... Come on, just do it, alright? Uh, he gave June's so shoulder a reassuring squeeze and hopped onto the elevator. He pushed the E button and the door began to close. June looked worried, her eyes darting back and forth as she was trying to make a decision when suddenly... Ah! I'm coming with you! Huh? At, what? Last, at the last possible moment, June what dashed forward... <laughs> 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 he tur turning sideways just in time to slip through the gap between the closing doors. Junpei jammed his finger against the open button, but it was too late. The door had shut. He and June were in the elevator and had headed down to E deck. To E deck. Dun dun. Dun dun. He was so surprised by June, he didn't even have time to think about what awaited him on E deck. The elevator stopped and the door slid open. And water. <laughs> they all died. They stepped off onto you the. You found the drowning ending. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just... The end. Onto the floor outside the elevator, nothing seemed especially unusual. No fish going about their fishy business, or jellyfish floating lazily through the water. There was, however, a blowfish. Or at least something that looked very much like one. J June's cheeks were puffed out and oh. her mouth, <laughs> mouth a tiny, intense frown. Oh, knock it off. I'll kill you. 
It's just like I thought. This part hasn't flooded. Come on, let's just look around. Uh, come on, just look around. There's no water here. There's no water! June looked around nervously, then... <laughs> <laughs> Exhale. You're right. It's not flooded at all. See? But there's, just a whole, dumb. but there's a whole lot of water. Yeah, right on top of us. What's gonna happen if the ceiling breaks? We drown. Junpei thought about that for a moment. We die. <laughs> yeah, we probably get really wet. Up there. Up there? <laughs> huh? Oh, At any rate, we, we should probably go back as soon as we can. Once we're done looking around down here, Lotus and Santa might already be back. Okay. Good idea. Junpei glanced around the room they found themselves in. And we'll be looking at it next time! Thank you everybody so much for watching! If you liked it, subscribe for more, and we'll catch you next time! With the blowfish, and the jellyfish, and the sea deck. I mean, e deck, sorry. The d uh, and the double entendre. And the, uh, and the deck. <laughs> and the triple entendre. <laughs> Do you know what a triple entendre is? Let's get wet up there! It just wraps right back up into sex. <laughs> Alright, bye!